my plain text right plain text or plain text referred as a any uh, any anything in a row format so it can be a string it can be a file anything right so here so this is my plain text and then we convert this to uh, something called ciphered text right so this is ciphered text uh, and a ciphered text is human unreadable so actually not unreadable he can't understand right because he he don't uh, he don't know what's what's the, what's in that uh, for to do that we use an algorithm again right? and here we will be using a key right so this uh, total process is known as you know cryptography cryptography is a technology or technique uh, but here we have uh, you know this way we will be converting plain text to cipher text using an algorithm and a key and then in uh, symmetric encryption we can do uh, reverse or we can uh, decrypt it so converting a ciphered text so this is known as ciphered cipher text or ciphered text so ciphered text can be again converted to plain text using same algorithm and a same key all right i hope this is clear so this is known as symmetric encryption also uh, in terms of uh, your exam uh, probably they might be you know talking about a single key encryption right encryption or private key encryption so this is symmetric encryption right so uh, the examples are for symmetric encryptions uh, algorithms uh, let's say des data encryption standard and triple des uh, uh, triple data encryption standard and aes aes is going to be now a sort of de facto uh, standard where you have uh, multiple options like uh, 128 uh, 192 and 256 so these are actually uh, block sizes so how it works is actually so when you have text to be converted to uh, uh, you know in or text to uh, encrypt what you would do is so the, let's say this is a text and then text will be uh, written as a one zero ones and zeros right so and then fixed length by fixed length in in a des it's 64 bit 64 bit right so it divided into 64 bit uh, you know fixed uh, blocks that that's why this is also known as block cipher so you create blocks and then each block will be encrypted individually with the key so that's how it works and if there are 16 rounds uh, they have according to the uh, encryption uh, encry uh, algorithm so that's how it will, it will it will be encrypted so most of the hardware encrypted uh, ones or uh, you know, mainly uh, storage now data uh, i was explaining in the first day i guess uh, data can be or information can be stored as a uh, stored uh, state or transit information can be stored or transit now when it comes to uh, information uh, stored uh, we can use symmetric encryption the reason is uh, uh, usually when you store data uh, usually you uh, the user who's storing data is the user who's you know retrieving data so you don't have to share these keys with everyone or maintain these keys so because of that um, uh, this works quite well with stored scenario even our wi-fi we'll be talking about wi-fi in uh, you know today uh, we will be using symmetric encryption standard mainly now aes or wap we use aes encryption uh, advanced encryption standard to encrypt uh, the data so i hope uh, you are clear so you are using single key to encrypt single key to decrypt and if you think about uh, our some of the encryptions that we have uh, uh, for an example bit locker bit locker right uh, bit locker go comes with windows system right so these are a symmetric encryption so that's the reason you need to specify a, a password a password right so specify a password that is going to be your key right and if you're looking at any uh, third party tools there's a nice tool called veracrypt this is the one i'm using actually so you can download it a few few megabytes so you can download it uh, from internet it's open source tool uh, so there the why i like this uh, this tool uh, pre-create the container so it's not on the go it wouldn't take much time to uh, it takes some time to encrypt but after that usage is really uh, simple so in my computer uh, if you uh, uh, you know just if you take uh, an example in my computer if i go into disk manager 
uh, there we have in my computer i have uh, uh, two hard drives sorry uh, there i have uh, d drive which is ssd uh, it's 22 gb right so what i did was i created a veracrypt uh, drive there encrypted and then i uh, i use this this drive uh, to store my personal information but other one my official stuff i'm not going to you know use any uh, you know any personal uh, thing uh, you know information or data in my uh, usual hard drive because this is my official uh, laptop so if you go in there uh, so how to do it is just click on uh, create volume right so it's going to pre-create symmetric encryption so if you are uh, if you are familiar you can use other stuff as well even if it supports system partition drive and also if you want to you can create a, a hidden uh, partition or entire folder and if you go in there uh, so uh, it, you can create a standard encryption partition or you can use hidden veracrypt partition uh, within a encrypted one you can use a space uh, which is known as hidden right so then you can you need to select the file if I go into my uh, desktop, I'm going to say demo uh, volume, demo wall, save, and then go next. And then I can select encryption algorithm. So I, as I said, AES is already selected. And then I can select hash algorithm because I need to in, uh, integrate the integrity as well. So I'm going there and I can specify the size in order to, you know, because of this. Uh, this is uh, for demonstration. I'm just creating 250 megabytes. Then it asks a password, right? Just type a password, but see, and also you can create a key file and you can keep a key file uh, as a password, right? So it, it will be much secure then. And also it says uh, it easy to crack, at least use 20 characters long password. I'm going to say yes, and I can select uh, NTFS. And also it has integrated uh, you know random pool algorithm where when you you know you move your mouse pointer uh, it will create a you know huge random pool uh, so then it will create uh, uh, this random pool to uh, create uh, you know uh, this drive uh, if you go in there i'm going to format this drive formatting is completed It's done now so let me show you quickly my uh, symmetric uh, encryption uh, volume so volume is created successfully if you go into desktop here this is the one sorry this is the one sorry uh, demo volume and uh, sorry i don't want to come in. right demo volume with 250 mb so you would see this now right so if I want to open it, how we can do that is just open up your Veracrypt. Uh, exit. So, so this is my Veracrypt. So I can select any drive there. Let's see, I'm going to select T drive and then I, can, I need to select the file. Select this, open, and then mount. Then I can select the password that I was using earlier. I specified password. It takes some time, and it will map the uh, volume to your hard drive. So uh, map the volume to your device uh, drive manager. Uh, let it run some time. I think my password is correct. It wouldn't take some time, much time. It's like few, few, few seconds. It should be up by then. And even I have tried uh, with, uh, you know, even terabytes of data. So if you go into T, so you would see a T drive with 250 MB. So you can use this drive as a normal drive. You can move, you can create folders. You can uh, copy and paste uh, any, anything here. So let's go and uh, copy uh, some, some files there. Let's say these two files. Let's 
let's say this one. Copy and then go to T drive, paste. And so we can have this. And if you do want to uh, encrypt this, it's actually already encrypted. If you want to dismount, so you can dismount it. So then uh, my file explorer wouldn't have any uh, T drive now. So my drive, my files will be inside this uh, demo demo folder, right? Demo volume, right? So if you want to open up again, what you want to do is again, you can, you know, the the uh, letter doesn't matter. You just go there and then select the volume. Right. And then mount it. Right. It will be mounted. I think you understand. So this is symmetric encryption. You can use this uh, mainly to storing data. We use this one. Now we have a next question is this is all right. But when it comes to communication, if you use this between, you know, to uh, the communication between two parties, let's say here we have uh, uh, one person here, right? And he want to send something securely uh, to the recipient. So this is the recipient, right? This is the sender, right? Now, if, if he use this, uh, you know, uh, symmetric encryption, what will happen is if you send this package to him, right? In order uh, for him to know it's, it's uh, you know, the mapped. And if you go and have a look again, I have Q drive. So there you would see all the information that I've copied, right? So if you don't want, you can just dismount it. So this is really a good method.